Welcome to the Area School. Time measurement units. Hello, everybody. Let's talk about time measurement units. Second. The second is the smallest standard unit of time. Smaller units of time are based on the second, such as the nanosecond or the microsecond. There are 60 seconds in a minute. Seconds are used to measure events of short duration, like the 100 meter dash. Minute. Minute is also a measurement of time. There are 60 seconds in a minute and 60 minutes in an hour. Hour. The hour is a medium length unit of time. There are 60 minutes in an hour and 24 hours in a day. Hours are used to measure durations such as the length of a school day or how long you sleep at night. For longer durations, we can use days, weeks, months, and years. As you've already been told, a day is 24 hours. A week consists of 7 days. A month is 4 weeks or 30 days. And a whole year consists either of 365, either 366 days, or 52 weeks. It was me, Aria, with you today. See you soon. Facts about physics. Hello, my friends. I am a big fan of physics, and I would like you to find the science fun as I did. So here are some entertaining facts about physics. Number 1. Objects with mass are attracted to each other. This is known as gravity. Number 2. A 200 pound person would only weigh 76 pounds on Mars because of differences in gravity. Number 3. Light from the Earth takes just 1.255 seconds to reach the Moon. Number 4. A magnifying glass uses the properties of a convex shaped lens to magnify an image, making it easier to see. Number 5. Dogs can hear sound at a higher frequency than humans, allowing them to hear noises that we can't. Number 6. The speed of sound is around 767 miles per hour. Number 7. When traveling through water, sound moves around 4 times faster than when it travels through air. Number 8. Water is wet, in the sense of being a liquid which flows easily, because its viscosity is low which is because its molecules are rather loosely joined together. Number 9. If one day you find yourself in space, please do not bring a pen with you, because you will not be able to write anything with it. Fun fact, pens that we use on Earth just don't work in space, because there is no gravity and the ink can come out of the pen. Luckily, pencils would work in space due to the black graphite they are made of. Number 10. Lightning bolts can travel at around 130,000 miles per hour while reaching nearly 30,000 degrees in temperature. Which of facts are your favorite? Let us know in comments down below. Please give us likes so we can do more videos for you. Thank you for watching. See you soon. The most interesting airplanes in history! Extreme aircraft are fascinating creations of engineering. Today I will tell you about the most interesting place in the world. The biggest one! The Hughes H-4 Hercules was a prototype aircraft with the widest wingspan of any airplane ever made an incredibly 97.5 meters. For you to compare, the clock tower Big Ben is 96 meters tall. Only one was ever built by the USA, and it made a single flight. One more is biggest payload, and the heaviest aircraft. Ukrainian plane, the Antonov 225, 
holds a few records. It's absolutely gigantic, with a nose today length and wingspan greater than any plane in service today. It's the heaviest aircraft ever made and able to carry more weight than any other in history. It can fly with 250,000 kilograms of onboard cargo and can transport space plates on its back. The next one is the smallest one. The BD BD-5 is the smallest jet plane in the world. The Guinness World Record title of smallest and lightest turbofan-powered plane goes to the BD BD-5, which has retained the honor since 1971 with its feather light weight of 162.7 kilograms. Do you want to find out about the fastest airplane? The fastest air-breathing takeoff capable aircraft ever built was the Lockheed SR-71, nicknamed Habu. Nothing has matched Blackbird's speed since 1976, when it was clocked flying more than 3 and 5,000 km per hour. The slowest. The slowest powered plane ever flown, even if it was human powered, was the MacReady Gossamer Albatross. And it was very slowly topping out at 29 km per hour. But you can't expect much from a pedal powered plane. A meter speed believes the true value of the Albatross, which flew with nothing but the power of cyclist Brian Allen over the English Channel in 1979. The most expensive. The most expensive plane was the Northrop Grumman B2 Spirit. That's at 2.13 billion dollars per unit cost. The B2 Spirit is also expensive to run, up to 135,000 per flight hour to operate. The cheapest. The Skyreach Bushcat is the cheapest ready-to-fly production plane. The cheapest, fully built. Ready to fly plane available to buy is the Skyreach Bushcat, with a basic model available for just $56,000. Guys, thank you for watching. Please give us likes on this episode. See you soon. The largest countries in the world. Hello! What do you know about the largest countries in the world? Let's find out some interesting facts about the top six largest countries. Russia, Canada, the USA, China, Brazil, Australia. Number one, Russia. Russia's 17.1 million square kilometers easily make it the world's largest by area. Russia borders 14 different countries. The taiga, the world's largest terrestrial biome, extends all the way from eastern Canada throughout the vast majority of northern Russia. Most of Russia is uninhabited. The territory of Russia is rich in various minerals, oil, gas, but so far they do not use by Russia sufficiently effectively. Number 2. Canada Canada's 9.984 million square kilometers make it the largest country in the Western Hemisphere. Eastern Canada is the traditional heart of the nation, with Toronto, Montreal and the national capital of Ottawa, all located in the east. Canada's capital is Ottawa. Number 3. The United States of America The United States just bigger than China, but slightly smaller than Canada, occupies 9.83 million square kilometers. The capital of the United States is Washington. Number 4. China China occupies 9.6 million square kilometers. However, that figure is not including disputed territories. It shares a border with 14 different countries. With over 1.35 billion citizens, China is home to 56 recognized ethical groups, has the world's 18th largest Muslim population, the 19th largest Christian population, and with 1.9 doctors per 1,000 people. The capital of China is Beijing. Number 5. Brazil 
the largest country in South America at over 8.51 million square kilometers, Brazil, plays home to much of the world's largest rainforest, the Amazon. The Amazon is so dense and vast that explorers and scientists have found human civilizations that had never made contact with the outside world. The capital of Brazil is the city of Brasilia. Number 6. Australia Australia is the largest country in ocean area so far. Technically, it is so large that it doesn't even qualify as an island. It is a continental landmass. The vast majority of its population live in the coastal cities like Sydney in the east and Perth in the west. And with good reason, the Australian outback is one of the world's driest and hottest regions. Along with extreme climate and geography, Australia is known for its spectacular and often deadly wildlife. The capital of Australia is Canberra. I hope you did find this topic useful. Now you can share it with your friends. I can't wait to see you in the following episode. Stay tuned! The main parts of human body Hi kids! It's Aria with you today. It's nice to see you again. Today we will talk about the main parts of human body. To survive and reproduce, the human body relies on major internal body organs to perform certain vital functions. When two or more organs along with their associated structures work together, they become component parts of a body system. Some of the easily recognizable internal organs and their associated functions are The brain The brain is a control center of the nervous system and is located within the skull. Its functions include muscles control and coordination, sensory reception and integration, speech production, memory storage and the elaboration of thoughts and emotion. The lungs The lungs are two sponge-like cone-shaped structures that fill most of the chest cavity. Their essential function is to provide oxygen from inhaled air to the bloodstream and to exhale carbon dioxide. The liver. The liver lies on the right side of the abdominal cavity beneath the diaphragm. Its main function is to process the contents of the blood to ensure composition remains the same. This process involves breaking down fats, producing urea, filtering harmful substances, and maintaining a proper level of glucose in the blood. The bladder The bladder is a muscular organ located in the pelvic cavity. It stretches to store urine and contracts to release urine. The kidneys The kidneys are two bean-shaped organs located at the back of the abdominal cavity one of the each side of the spinal column. Their function is to maintain the body's chemical balance by exerting waste products and excess fluid in the form of urine. The heart The heart is a hollow, muscular organ that pumps blood through the blood vessels by repeated rhythmic contractions. The stomach the stomach is a muscular, elastic pear-shaped bag lying crosswise in the abdominal cavity beneath the diaphragm. Its main purpose is digestion of food through production of gastric juices which break down, mix and turn the food into the thin liquid. The intestines The intestines are located between the stomach and the anus and are divided into two major sections, the small intestine and the large intestine. The function of the small intestine is to absorb most ingested food. The large intestine is responsible for absorption of water and excretion of solid waste material. Thank you for watching! If you found our episode useful, let us know in comments down below.